Our high temp today, high of only 34, so just two degrees above the freezing mark. We're supposed to be in the mid 30s, so it was kind of a typical day for Wisconsin in December. Tomorrow it's going to look a lot more like December in Wisconsin. Winter weather advisories across all of southeastern Wisconsin starting at 7 a.m. until 6 p.m., so that's when the heaviest of the snow is going to be falling. And this is not a huge storm system, and really it hasn't even started to push on in yet. We are looking at mainly cloud cover, maybe a flurry or two, but the temperatures will stay below freezing tonight and into the early hours of tomorrow tomorrow morning. So 32 in Milwaukee, 30 in Waukesha, a pair of 29s, Watertown, as well as in Beaver Dam. And the wind, not going to be too much of a problem tomorrow. It's not going to be blowing around the snow for many of us throughout the day, but expect that winter weather advisory to cover much of the state. So if you're headed up to the Packers game tomorrow, yeah, 43 is going to be a bit on the messy side. So if you can leave earlier, the better, because I really don't expect the brunt of this to push into our area until after about 7 a.m., at least in Milwaukee. But you can tell a lot of moisture down to the south and notice even some rain down in Missouri as this gets closer to us again. Most of that snow shouldn't even hit us until about six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. Those will move from the west to the east. Everybody looking at snow likely during the middle section of the day. And as we continue to watch that storm system kind of pull out of here by about 6 p.m., those snow showers will start to taper off and we'll be looking at the snow coming to an end. Maybe a few flurries lingering, but then we get into Monday. High pressure brings around a southwesterly wind and that's going to give us a little bit warmer air. Watching this cold front though, Monday and into Tuesday, that's going to bring a big change in the forecast, our first blast of Arctic air. So first we get the snow, then we get the really cold temperatures. How much snow to be expecting? Right along the lakefront with the help of heating, heated Lake Michigan, close to one to two inches. Generally across much of southeastern Wisconsin, two to three inches of that snow again, mainly between about 8 a.m. and about 5 p.m. Could see a couple isolated higher amounts uh, off to the west, three to four inches possible around the Madison area. And again, could see an isolated higher amount here in southeastern Wisconsin but generally one to three inches of snow overnight tonight though just a few flurries like we've seen throughout the day today 30 degrees your overnight low in Milwaukee 26 away from Lake Michigan then tomorrow a high of 35 in Milwaukee again snow showers likely that could reduce visibilities at times so this is that first measurable snow of the year take it slow on the roadways could see some slick spots but DPW crews are already out and getting the roads brined again one to three inches of snow likely and this will impact your drive up to Lambeau field. So if you're planning to head up there, it will look like a snow globe at the frozen tundra with temperatures staying just above the freezing mark. As I said, high pressure rolls on in for Monday. That will bring around a southwesterly wind to bump us up to 40 degrees, which looks nice. But there comes that cold front on Tuesday. That's going to bring a wintry mix, a slight chance of that. But really, it's going to just take our temperatures and bring them down into the 20s and teens for overnight lows. So after our second warmest November, we're plunging into winter.